Unit 2, Lesson 13, Tables and Double Number Line Diagrams. Number 1. The double number line shows how much water and how much lemonade powder to mix to make different amounts of lemonade. 2 cups of water to 1.5 scoops of lemonade powder. 4 cups of water to 3 lemonade powder scoops. 6 cups of water to 4.5 scoops of lemonade powder. Make a table that represents the same situation. The column on the left represents water. The column on the right represents the number of scoops. 2 to one point five. 5, 4 to 3, 6 to 4.5. Number 2. A bread recipe uses 3 tablespoons of olive oil for every 2 cloves of crushed garlic. A. Complete the table to show different sized batches of bread that taste the same as the recipe. We need to keep the ratio of 3 tablespoons of olive oil to 2 cloves of crushed garlic. So here's the original 3 to 2. And then here when they made the 3 into a 1, 3 divided by 3 brings you to 1. So 2 divided by 3 is the same thing as 2 thirds. So it would be 1 to 2 thirds. Well if 1 equals 2 thirds, then 2 would be doubled two-thirds and double two-thirds is four thirds which is equal to four divided by three how many times does three go into four once one times three is three four minus three is one so your remainder is one over three one over three I'm going to jump down to the 10 because the 10 is going to be 10 times bigger than 1. So what's 10 times bigger than 2 thirds? 20 thirds. And remember, that means 20 divided by 3. How many times does 3 go into 20? 6. 6 times 3 is 18. And what do you have left over? 2. So 2 over 3. So that's going to be 6 and 2 thirds. The next one I'm going to do is 5 because 5 is half of 10. So this answer right here is going to be half the size of this answer. What is half of 6? 3. What is half of 2 thirds or half of 2? 1. So half of 2 thirds is 1 third. Another way that we could have done this, we could have multiplied 1 times 5 to get 5 and this the number of scoops times 5 to get 3 and 1 third. B. Draw a double number line that represents the same situation. I'm going to start with 0 and then 1, 2, 3, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and this one here is going to be 10. With 1 tablespoon of olive oil, there's 2 thirds crushed garlic. So 2 thirds. So when there's 2, there's 1 and 1 third. 1 and 1 third. When there's 5, there's 3 and 1 third. 3 and 1 third. And then finally, when there's 10, there's 6 and 2 thirds. 1 to 2 thirds. 2 to 1 and one third, five to three and one third, ten to six and two thirds. C. Which representation do you think works better in this situation? Why? I prefer the table because it was easy for me to recognize the relationship between 10 and 1. The 10 is going to be 10 times larger than the 1. Also, the 5 is going to be half the size of 10. 3. Claire travels at a constant speed, as shown on the double number line. At this rate, how far does she travel in each of these intervals of time? Explain or show your reasoning. If you get stuck, consider using a table. Here's the distance in miles, and here is the elapsed time in hours. A. How far does she travel in one hour? One hour is missing, but they provide us with two hours. If she goes 72 miles in two hours, all we have to do is cut that in half and we have the distance for one hour. 72 divided by two equals 36. 36 miles in one hour. Three hours is just gonna be 36 times three, or the exact middle between 72 and 144 this space right here between 72 and 144. 144 plus 72. 216. Now we need to find the average between these two numbers, so we divide this by 2. 216 divided by 2. 
half of 2 is 1, or half of 200 is 100. Half of 16 is 8, 108. In three hours, 108 miles would be traveled. 108 should be the same answer as 36 times 3. Let's test that out. 6 times 3 is 18. 3 times 3 is 9. Plus 1 is 10. 108. C. 6.5 hours. Let's make a chart. Hours, miles. 2 hours, 72 miles. 1 hour, 36 miles. So basically, we're counting by 36. 36, 72, 108, 144, 144 plus 36. Five to 180. Six to 216. 7 to 252 C was asking for 6.5 hours, which is six and a half hours. That would be the amount that's exactly between six hours and seven hours. So we'd have to find the amount that's exactly between 216 and 252. So instead of adding 36 to 216 to get 252, we could add half of 36. Half of 36 is 18. So if we were to add 18 to 216, we could get the answer. Or we could add 216 to 252 and divide that answer by 2, and we should be able to get the answer. 234, 234, 234 to 6.5. Number four, Lynn and Diego traveled in cars on the highway at constant speeds. In each case, decide who was traveling faster and explain how you know. During the first half hour, Lynn travels 23 miles while Diego travels 25 miles. Hour, miles. During the first half hour, Lynn traveled 23 miles. Lynn on the left, Diego on the right. In the first half hour, Diego traveled 25 miles. Since 25 miles is greater than 23 miles, Diego traveled faster because he traveled a further distance in the same amount of time. B. After stopping for lunch, they traveled at different speeds. To travel the next 60 miles, it takes Lynn 65 minutes and it takes Diego 70 minutes. 60 miles. So they each traveled 60 miles. And then they changed this from hours to minutes. I changed it in the graph from hours to minutes like they did. So the half hour becomes 30 minutes. Lynn takes 65 minutes to travel 60 miles and Diego takes 70 70 minutes to travel 60 miles. So after lunch, Lynn was traveling faster because in a shorter amount of time he traveled the same distance as Diego. It took Lynn only 65 minutes to travel 60 miles and it took Diego 70 minutes to travel 60 miles. Number five, a sports drink recipe calls for five thirds tablespoons of powdered drink mix for every 12 ounces of water. How many batches can you make with five tablespoons of drink mix and 36 ounces of water? Explain your reasoning.
In this chart, I have the drink mix on the left and the amount of ounces of water on the right. Ounces of water I counted by 12, 12, 24, 36. Once I got to 36, I stopped because they were asking how many batches could we make with 36 ounces of water. The drink mix side, I'm gonna count by five thirds. 5 thirds, 10 thirds, 15 thirds. 15 thirds really means 15 divided by 3. 5. 5 tablespoons of drink mix to 36 ounces of water. This represents the first batch, the second batch, and the third batch. 36 ounces of water and 5 tablespoons of drink mix would make 3 batches of sports drink. 5A. What is the surface area of this cube? 3 by 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Each side is worth 9. On a cube, there's a top, a bottom, a front, a back, a right side, and a left side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times 9. 6 times 9 equals 6 less than 6 times 10. I know 6 times 10 is 60. 60 minus 6 is 54. So 6 times 9 should be 54. And these are units squared. 54 square units. The area is 54 units squared. B. What is the volume of this cube? Volume equals base times height times length. 3 times 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27 units cubed. The volume of the cube is 27 cubic units, or 27 units cubed, or 27 units to the third power. How many floors, or how many stories, or how many levels do you see in this cube? There's three. The top level has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this top level has nine. The middle level also has nine. The bottom level also has nine. Nine times three, or nine plus nine plus nine, equals 27. So you have 27 cubed units inside this cube. That's another way to look at it. Congratulations! You have completed Unit 2, Lesson 13, Tables and Double Number Line Diagrams.